Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? How's my YouTube family doing there? Uh, this is a video which a lot of uh, comments I was getting about to uh, about different doubts they had about different things you guys want to know. I'm. This is a journal video. What's happening right now? What is the condition right now? There were most of the questions were about about the time taken by the NDEB for for your document verification. The, you must have heard there are a few exams which have got cancelled. And then the other thing was uh, some of them. Uh, some of you asked me what is the how is the saturation and number of dentists in Canada. So let's uh, let's talk about all these things today in this video. And I would I would really appreciate if you guys uh, like and subscribe this channel. It just gives me more thing to work for. I all I want to do is help you people out there because I know when I was there and there was no videos like that. Uh, there was no information and i took some bad decisions <laughs> but uh, i'm here to help you if you guys can subscribe and like this video share it with your friends that will help the channel to grow and keep me motivated doing this as well so let's get to the topic one topic is what is about this news of exam cancellations okay so the exam the first exam afk got cancelled because as far as i have heard and i know the ndb was not happy with the exam they conducted in december because they conducted in two parts and there were complaints to the ndb where they said that people who took the exam on one day kind of leaked the paper or something they did i'm not very sure but which was unfair according to ndb and they released the or or they uh, discuss the questions to the people taking AFK exam in December on the other date and uh, some other people complained about this uh, that this has been happening in some academies uh, NDB took a strict note of it they cancelled the December exam for everybody whoever took the exam they cancelled the exam there were an exam coming up in February uh, where a lot of people have registered they traveled throughout the world to give the exam and everybody was ready and just 10 or 15 days no month a month before the exam month 15 days before the exam they cancelled the february exam too so now the ndb is as communicated by them they are going through and they are doing an investigation on that in that meantime they have stopped the afk exam they might release the new dates again now people who are in the next and the third phase of the exam like ACS because of COVID that is all delayed. That exam is not happening anytime soon. But as soon as we are out of this COVID thing, more and more dates should come up. That's what I feel. There is a big backlog of students, big backlog of candidates who want to appear this exam. So if you are somebody who's thinking of moving to Canada and give these exams now, your plan might be delayed uh, for at least uh, a year and a half. But if you are just starting up, maybe by the time you get your PR, maybe by the time you set, things will ease out. Things will get more simpler. Things will move faster. Even this COVID thing is going to get sorted within six months, one year. Let's hope so. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So that is one thing. So everything is very delayed. And uh, there are a lot of candidates who are applying and DEB has a lot of backlog on there and they are taking one year, sometime more, sometime less to clear these uh, documents uh, for you to have your account and then to appear for the exam. We are looking at a period of one to three years to clear all the equivalencies. That is my idea that this is where we are. So I usually suggest to candidates that if you have made up your mind to move to Canada, you're applying for PR, right away, start with your NDEB documents. At least you send your documents, you give those thousand dollars to them. Let them uh, review your documents for eight months, one year. In the meantime, you can give your English exam and you score your PR and everything and you can get done with that. So I hope I've been some clarity there for you guys. The other question which I'm commonly asked is, is there Canada needs more dentist? Is there any? So this is a question. For example, tell me one country which doesn't have competition. Tell me one 
profession where there is no saturation. I don't know of any profession where there is no saturation, where there is you can uh, just go and start making your life easy and you can fulfill your dreams, you can have the vacation of your dream, you can have the car of your dream, whatever. I don't think there's anything like that. So if you are a if you're a dentist in an Asian country like my country, I'm from India, Pakistan, and you're not happy with the money you're making, the life you are having. It's not a bad idea to move. Definitely, it has become tougher than last few years. It has become more expensive. With COVID, everything has kind of died down. There are no jobs. If you want to take up some uh, additional job with your exams. In, in terms of dental jobs, I, as I said in the last video, you will get a job, but it might not be your dream job. But what I feel, what I see with people's experience, once you are working as a dentist for a year or two years, you have that experience and then you start getting better and better. Your income starts increasing, your experience starts increasing and then you land up at a place where you want to be mostly. If, for example, I would say as much dentistry, you know, the more options you can give to your patients. If you're comfortable doing just, for example, a root canal in upper seven and your patient needs it. And you can do it and that is you can help your patient and make your make your income in there but if you can't do it and you have to refer it out you lose your income there so if you are good in dentistry i always say if you love it that's what i do you will have a good life you'll make good money anywhere in the world and canada or north america is a good place to move but definitely it's tough but once you're settled, you give it your time and you will make your uh, make your living way better than what you're doing at home right now. And one another question which I'm frequently asked is about the weather, about the cold. So you can see uh, we are sitting here in the car. I'm just wearing my scrubs and uh, one more uh, coat and uh, you know the temperature outside in this sunny nice sunny light and this this weather with this closed car the temperature is minus seven so that's how we deal with it two days back it was minus 20 minus 25 you start your car it's all heated you go home it's all heated so uh, obviously you cannot go out and play outside and here is my son i would like to introduce him he's just walked back from hi. school say hi one hi hi to all our youtube family <laughs> So I, I would ask a question from him because some of you might have kids and you want to know uh, how it's schooling. So Vivan, I have a question for you. Uh, when you were in India and you were going to school and when, are you, when you moved in Canada, which school do you like more? I knew you were going to ask that. Um, I, would, I would wish that they would mix both of those. So my friends would come here and then the... Like it will be sunny here. <laughs> so, and uh, do you like the school here? I love it. And uh, what makes you love the school here? You know, like just like they have, they are really nice to you. They do a lot of fun things. It's actually really fun. All right. And I was uh, scared at first. Oh, good. And uh, how do you deal with the weather, with the cold weather, when you go to school? When you yes. walk to school. Well, sometimes you get so warm in your snow jacket <laughs> that you just want to take it off. And then that means, you, that means you're good. And uh, um, uh, do you play outside in the snow in the school recess? Yeah, we, all, we, uh, we only play uh, when it's minus 20 and more. That's when you play no, we inside? No, uh, we play when it's, uh, when it's minus and 20 uh, more. The, uh, minus 20 that means we play inside and then uh, otherwise they play outside yes <laughs> and uh, the jacket he's wearing it's, it's a snow suit so your kids wear those snow suits when they go to school where, or they walk to school it's so warm it's so but, warm now in the car but I would recommend taking it off when you're uh, <laughs> playing soccer or something not on the video <laughs> <laughs> all right guys and um, uh uh, that those 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 covers most of the commonly asked questions. If you guys want want us to answer a few more questions for you, uh, we will be glad to do it. All right, Vivan, buddy, thank yeah. you. Bye, and see you again. Please like and share this video.